I was born and raised in Uganda, Africa, East Africa, in a place, a small town called Nansana. First, I was born in uh, a district of Uganda called Wakiso, in a town called Chibwa. That's where a good Samaritan orphanage is. My mother bought me new slippers, uh, sandals, and I lost them. And that would mean another year without sandals. People came to visit their kids, but I didn't have anyone to visit me, so it was kinda a beautiful day to everybody, but to me it was a sad day because I had to hide away from everybody to sit alone. It was Easter, it was Easter morning. As I was walking, I think we were walking to the market with my mom, I found an envelope, uh, a khaki envelope, and it had 10, thousand Ugandan shillings in it and I used that money to buy me a pair of uh, a pair of trousers and a shirt for Easter it was my gift for Easter one of the happiest memories I remember was in the fellowship when I gave my life to Jesus and that was super cool I, I love that It was um, a fellowship at Good Samaritan Orphanage because we always have, we always had um, fellowships every um, Wednesday. One day uh, when the preacher was preaching, I decided to give my life to Jesus. After seeing what Christians uh, had done to me, helping me, uh, raising me up, so I decided to be like them. I was 11 and I, uh, that's when I turned that's when I gave my life to Christ. And then I was baptized in 2016, no, 2006, <laughs> on December 7th. I was staying at the village and we were the next neighbor, neighbors to the orphanage, but I wasn't going to the school. Um, other kids were going to school, and um, but I was staying home. Uh, one day, uh, Uncle Alex was passing by because we were neighbors to the orphanage. Um, and he, he asked my grandmom, why is he not going to the school? Can you send him to come and be part of the school? We used to hear about Alex and the work he was doing. But by that time, I was in a, in a certain school in Nansana. But then, when I was 11, I was, I was supposed to be going to around fifth, fifth grade, uh, but this time my mother couldn't afford school, so uh, I, was, I was dropping out of school. But then this is when she, she remembers uh, about this orphanage she had. So she took me there, and luckily uh, they, took, they took us in. They, they, they gave me a place in that school, and that's how I started uh, getting close to Alex. In the evening, that same day, he sent the social worker who came and told me, hey, go register on Monday, start school. So I went to the orphanage, I started schooling, I started everything, and uh, knowing Uncle Alex at a personal basis was when I started going to his class that he used to teach. By, by going to this school and, and going to church, because I don't remember him uh, missing Sunday, Sunday services. At Good Samaritan, there, there's still something called the Children's Church. So he, u he usually, when he's in the country, most of the times he fellowships with his kids. And uh, there are times when I went to his office just to inquire, to ask him some questions that I didn't know. And that's when I got to know him on a personal basis and anything that I wanted to know from him, I could go straight to him and ask him. First of all, I want to thank God for the opportunity of going to Kentucky Christian University, a Christian school. Um, this opportunity has exposed me to many of the things I was dreaming of. I was thinking of becoming a preacher, a teacher of pastors someday, as well as uh, 
spreading the word of God someday. But KCU helped me to get what it requires me to become that. I used to think I, I, I wanted big schools, but when I got to KCU and because of the major that, I, that I'm doing, uh, I love the, that, that community, that sense of community that is there because I can find help whenever I need it, I, however I need it. So far, all of my classes that I've had at KCU are really, really good. They're helping, they're exposing me to what it takes to be a good Bible teacher and to be a good preacher. So I'm hoping to become someone, someone who will do an impact into the kingdom of God when I go back to Uganda. Now, uh, my future plans after school, of course, one of them is to get married. And the other thing is to go do the work of God and uh, help teach pastors, help spread the word of God, and uh, see how the degree I've got at KCU can be used into my country, how I can benefit people in my country, especially leaders, the pastors, because I feel like I'm called more to teach the leaders and I feel more comfortable teaching. So I hope one day I'll be a Bible, a good Bible teacher in my country. Th those are some of my future plans. I plan to right away start helping however they need help at the uh, Back to the Bible Truth and Good Samaritan in particular. And then from there, we'll see where God takes us. But on behalf of me, Patrick, and Good Samaritan, and Uganda at large, uh, and Africa, we would like to thank the, this community, this church, Christ Community Church, for the hospitality and the help given to us, and this opportunity in itself of seeing America and uh, going to school because, because if, it, if it wasn't for, for, for Christ's community through SCAD, maybe we wouldn't be going to school, maybe we wouldn't be in, in college. But we thank you all for this opportunity and thank you SCAD for the big heart and Alice Kay and Matt and everyone in this church. Thank you, thank you. God bless you.